Hello everyone. By now you must be aware of diabetes myths and facts, genetic links to diabetes, how family history impacts risk in diabetes, and the holistic approaches in diabetes management and care. However, now I'll be talking about why injuries and diabetes have been designated as a national health priority, especially in India. Diabetes mellitus is a chronic metabolic disease characterized by elevated levels of blood glucose which has serious complications affecting the kidneys, heart, eyes, nerves and blood vessels. It is a rapidly growing health challenge and potential epidemic across the low and middle income countries like India. It is also associated with an increase in hospital mortality and morbidity in patients who have suffered injuries, especially traumatic injuries like road traffic accidents. Diabetes patients have a 12 to 19 percent higher risk of road traffic accidents. Diabetes mellitus poses a significant burden as a risk factor for trauma and is considered a predictor of worse outcomes in traumatic injuries. Both hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia need to be addressed for proper management in such patients. The major risk factors for injuries in diabetic patients are first, poor mobility, cognitive impairment, visual impairment, peripheral neuropathy, renal dysfunction, especially in elderly patients, patients who are on insulin therapy, and also on patients who are on multiple oral hypoglycemic drugs. Injuries in diabetic patients are associated with increased rate of hospitalization, increased length of hospital stay, increased mortality, fall-related fractures leading to impaired quality of life, burden on healthcare system, burden on insurance claims, and also burden on family and caretakers. Thus, injuries and diabetes has been designated as a national health priority which needs to be addressed sincerely. Take charge of good diabetes management to avoid injuries by safe driving practices, personal hygiene, practice foot care to prevent foot ulcers, quit smoking and alcohol, eat healthy food and exercise regularly. So consult your primary care doctor immediately even if there is a minor wound.